Focal abnormalities on an EEG essentially point to areas where the brain isn't functioning as it typically should. This can happen due to various reasons such as structural lesions, think tumors, scars from past injuries, or even strokes. But it's important to note that these abnormalities aren't exclusive to these conditions. They can also show up temporarily after a seizure or due to other non-structural physiological effects. One key aspect that clinicians look at is the location, morphology, and persistence of these abnormalities. For instance, if an abnormality is persistent and poorly reactive, it might suggest an underlying structural issue. However, these features alone can't pinpoint the exact cause. Because of this, a broad differential diagnosis is usually required. Now let's talk about alpha asymmetries. These occur when there's an abnormality on the same side or ipsilateral side of the hemisphere that's being examined. Typically, this involves a slower posterior dominant rhythm, and according to a study published in the Clinical Neurophysiology, a persistent difference of greater than one hertz in alpha rhythm between hemispheres is considered abnormal. Similarly, while it's normal for the right hemisphere to be a little asymmetrical in terms of higher amplitude, a persistent amplitude asymmetry greater than 50% should also raise red flags. Here's an example of alpha asymmetry, where the rhythm is slower over the right hemisphere in a patient who has suffered from an acute right frontoparietal ischemic infarction. This type of alpha asymmetry can be a crucial clue in diagnosing the underlying condition. Okay, so let's recap alpha asymmetries. Alpha asymmetries depict an abnormality on the same side or ipsilateral of the hemisphere. Alpha asymmetries involve a slower posterior dominant rhythm, and a persistent hemispheric difference of greater than one hertz in alpha rhythm is considered abnormal. When it comes to amplitude, a persistent amplitude asymmetry of greater than 50% in the right hemisphere should also be regarded as abnormal as well. 